So here's a nice easy way to share your Maya file um, within this uh, BitTorrent sync sharing file program. So firstly open the program. Um, you'll be given a key and what you'll need to do is go to this options menu, enter a key and paste it in here. Uh, when you do that it'll ask you to pick a folder that you want to use, uh, a place to store this folder. Um, finish that, click OK and you'll start downloading this folder here with all these classes in it and um, sections. Uh, then you can go to your Maya file, export all, and make sure preserve references is off. And this is set to Maya ASCII. And export all. And then I'm just going to save it to just a shot one. Or it is indeed shot one. Save. Save and save it. Beach ball of death. Alright, and uh, there we go. So, shot one. Uh, and then you're just going to take your shot, um, compress it, preferably with 7 zip because it does compress it a little bit smaller. But you can compress a zip if you have, if you don't know how. Uh, and it can take a little bit longer to compress. Um, but it is worth it in the sense that if we're dealing with a lot of files, we really don't want them to be as big as they would otherwise be. So ensure that it's compressed with something. Um, when you export all and you don't preserve references, what this will do is this will try attempt to bring everything into that one file. And you'll notice that it is a generally a fairly large file. Oops, where am I? So for example, it's 93 megabytes here as just the raw file, which is why we're compressing it. Um, but when it is done, I will show you just how much it compresses down to, uh, which is quite a lot. So while this is going, uh, the point of all of this really is just because it's a whole lot, uh, there's a whole lot more to learn when you look into somebody else's actual shot and you get to look at the graph editor and see exactly how they do things, how they set up constraints, how they approach uh, certain shots, some things that you can't see in the final rendered output. So hopefully being able to look at people's shots will um, teach you some things that you did not previously know. So we're nearly done, let's see. We'll do a side by side comparison when this is done. Um, so yeah, again, make sure you compress it. Very important that you compress it because uh, if we're sharing a folder and everybody has this folder, people are not going to want to deal with nearly 100 megabytes each file. Uh, and the more files there are, obviously the crazier that will be. So nearly done. Uh, sorry. So here we are. So the compressed version for comparison has gone from 94 megabytes down to 8 megabytes which is obviously much, much better. So now that you've got your um, compressed folder, uh, go into the class. There should be this, this class layout as long as nobody's messed with the folder. Um, so in this case, class 3. And make a file folder with your name, just to keep things nice and clean. Um, I've already done that. And um, drag in your compressed file, and eventually it'll sync up to everybody else's machine and everybody gets a chance to have a to open it up and have a look. Um, now one other thing is when that you do want to open these up and have a look, please don't just double click it in the in here because it'll 
expand this into the same folder and as soon as it does that you're going to end up just sharing that folder again so just make a copy of it like don't drag it out of there because otherwise it'll remove it for everybody else but just make a copy of it um, just copy and paste it somewhere else and then open it um, just to ensure that it stays nice and clean for everybody um, yeah I hope you guys enjoy it just remember there's this is very much a circle of trust it's anyone can change anything on here and it could you know if someone wants to be a, a total idiot they can go through and, and mess with stuff but uh, so long as everybody plays ball and doesn't screw with things it'll um, hopefully work really well enjoy